E3 2018 has come and gone, but the games announced this last week are going to shape what we play for the next weeks, months, and years to come. Here are just a few of the titles we think you should keep your eye out because they are going to be the ones to watch. There was no way we weren't going to talk about Halo Infinite. The reception from both in and out of the core Halo community has been overwhelming and people are once again excited for Halo. We know next to nothing about the game other than it's powered by a brand new engine and being developed by 343. So the next story of Master Chief is shrouded in mystery, but it's something to keep your eye on as the future of Halo is definitely an exciting one. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is another one to watch. Origins was a big step in the right direction for the franchise in my opinion, and if Odyssey keeps that momentum, it might just be great. The ancient Greek setting is ripe with interesting lore for Ubisoft to meld with Assassin's Creed's alternate history. Odyssey is definitely one I'll be following closely as it approaches release. Anthem is a game that has within a week gone from a hard pass for me to a solid consideration for something I may pick up day one. I've done one video covering this title in depth and said that it has flipped my opinion on it. The high intensity mech action mixed with Destiny like MMO light stylings and unique classes with a lively open world make this one game to keep a closer eye on, and I'm hopeful that my initial doubts were misplaced. Argus Path is a title that surprised all of us. Developed by Dream Reality Interactive, you play the role of a character who is trapped in a simulated world called Arca. The overall goal is to travel multiple paths of varying difficulty across several gorgeous worlds to find the end and escape. Using your VR headset only, you aim with your head to move across the landscapes. Is very reminiscent of the old Labyrinth tabletop games and Marble Madness from the NES. If you have an Oculus Vive or PSVR headset, keep an eye out for this one. Cyberpunk 2077 seems to have won E3 for a lot of people, and I'm no exception. I've been low-key hyped for this game since the teaser trailer five years ago, and now I'm definitely high-key hyped. Everything about this game's aesthetic just works for me, and though I wasn't lucky enough to get a gameplay demo, the overwhelmingly positive impressions from people who did have me very excited for Cyberpunk. Metro Exodus finally gives us a full-fledged in-game trailer showcasing all of the unique, interesting weapons we'll be using to fight the mutants, Nazis, and communists in this iteration of one of my personal favorite franchises of all time. We get to jump back into the shoes of Artyom for a mission yet revealed in this stealth action first-person shooter. Be sure to keep your battery cranked and keep an eye out for Metro Exodus coming early 2019. Strange Brigade was something we've kept our eyes on since 2017, last year at E3. Going from just a couple consoles in the Xbox booth relegated off to the side, to their own room nearing on release with one awesome demo of their new branching action-paced pulpy shooter, Strange Brigade is something I'm definitely excited for and will be picking up on its first day. Between the aesthetic, the gameplay, and the branching secrets and mystery, I'm all in. Fear the Wolves takes the somewhat oversaturated BR genre that everyone seems to love to crap on now and twists it on its head. Fear the Wolves set in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, much like the Stalker games done by the same devs, takes its name very literally. Other players aren't your only threat out on the battlefield, deadly wolf NPCs and crazy anomalies are also prepped to take your life if you're not prepared. More AI threats are set to be shown off later in the dev cycle. To me. Fear the Wolves has nothing to fear, as this is one BR that I'm actually excited for. Those are just a few of the games we really wanted to talk about, but there's a ton more to keep on your radar and ours. So sit back, enjoy a bit of a montage, and we have just a couple more games to cover.